Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm just making sure my volume is up. Where I can hear. Um, sorry if my lighting looks off a little bit. I have the blinds closed today because um, I actually woke up with a really bad headache. So I'm hoping that um, as I get moving, and Georgie is making some noise in the background because he uh, clearly is wanting some attention. Actually, he's only making that noise because um, he's using the restroom. <laughs> so I'm not even sure if um, I'm on the right page because I just hit live and I can't tell if I'm on, on my stamp page. Um, and I don't have my iPad set up either, so hopefully I am on the right page. Um, but if the lighting looks different, it's just because um, I woke up with a headache. So um, I have the blinds closed just to eliminate. And then the light that's on here is actually the light uh, from my little setup. So um, that helps a little bit, but not much. So. Um, I'm gonna double check and make sure I'm on the right uh, on the right page. So hold on. Okay, so I'm on the right page. I just wanted to make sure. So let me see and make sure my comments. are on, which it looks like they are. There we go. So somebody popped on. I just wanted to make sure I was on the right page. Hi, Ophelia. Glad you could join join me today. Um, I was just explaining my lighting is a little bit off because I've tried to tone it down. I woke up with a headache this morning, so I'm going to try to make it super, super quick today, but I do want to make sure that I am able to cover um, everything that I normally do, so, and maybe as I go on, maybe uh, the headache will start to go away, so I just took some medication about an hour ago, but it hasn't kicked in, so, but for those that have uh, never met me before, thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you're having a... A Sunday afternoon and doing something fun. Um, I think about all the people down in south of here in San Antonio that ha are getting all that weather. So I hope everybody is staying safe. Um, I don't know if I have much family down there. I, I think they're mainly in Carnes County and um, some other counties down there. Uh, yeah, it's Carnes County. I think it's Carnes County. Uh, but anyway. So I, I do thank you for joining me. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Barbara Ragsdale. Hi, Catherine. Nice to see you. I'm gonna do the wave and see if the wave happens. So I don't know if, if it popped up, but uh, for those of you that have not met me, my name is Barbara Ragsdale and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up, we are a paper crafting company. And we literally have everything you need in order to make all of your um, your paper crafts, whether they're cards, their projects, gifts, gift packaging. Uh, we have we have card stock, uh, designer series paper, coordinating ribbon everything color coordinates we have 50 colors in our product line and they all have different names so um, you'll hear me refer to the names as the name the color name so that's pretty exciting because some of the names are um, are pretty uh, uh, creative I guess you could say so uh, but we do we have everything for all levels of crafters whether you've never crafted before that's Georgie in his litter box, by the way, making that noise. And I think Chris is doing some laundry today. So, 
you might hear some background but um, but we have everything that you need possibly for uh, any of your crafting needs whether you're a beginner or you're an occasional stamper or you're an avid stamper you can't go wrong and if you don't already have a demonstrator um, then contact me I would I would love and appreciate being your demonstrator and showing you how to use the products um, you can also join my team there's always a fabulous special when it comes to joining our team um, and let me see what else that's it for that right now I'm trying to keep it uh, low key today just because my head literally is pounding right now so if you see me squinting I'm just trying to control the amount of light coming into my eyes and I don't know what would happen if I turned the light off behind me I might get too dark but um, every single month I do have an online ordering special and uh, before I've got all my little things right here before me so I'm gonna get those out of the way but um, the month of July is literally almost over you guys oh my goodness but I will share the um, the July host special or the host online ordering special was if you ordered $25 or more for me off my website you also got the kit in order to make uh, these four cards using the birds and blooms bundle and back at the beginning of July we made a um, I always make four cards so not today but next week I'll be doing the cards for August for the August special but um, it's a kit to make this card and I put them in sleeves just so I wouldn't get ink all over them so hopefully you can see that Oops, that one goes that way um, this was the happy birthday one I know the the images might be backwards but you can get an idea of um, the cards and that one says smile and so uh, when I point the camera down you're still gonna see the July host code um, that's good through the end of the month so it's good through the end of July so don't forget uh, if you order you get the kit to make that you do have to have the stamp and the dies in order to complete it but everything else in the kit um, all the paper is cut anything that I could possibly die cut and emboss for you I can um, but you do have to you do have to have the stamp and and or the dies to, to finish your project so um, at the same time if you order $50 or more there's a there's a special that Stampin' Up! has right now where if you place an order of $50 or more you get a $5 coupon that you can redeem in the month of August and it's a digital coupon so once you order when you're ordering you'll see the little message pop up saying you've earned a $5 bonus days coupon and then you'll get an email that has that code so when you place an order in August um, you can take that $5 off your order and let's see what else oh and if you order $50 or more you're also going to get a free full accessory that coordinates with this so most likely it'll be a spool of ribbon that coordinates with which is that's the new um, in color ribbon which is misty moonlight so that's the online ordering special that's only going to be on for a few more days it ends at the end of July um, I believe for the bonus codes you can still order through August the 3rd um, and still be eligible to get that but at that point I'll have a different special on my end so it'll be whatever's for next month which I think I've decided what I want to do for next month so um, but I haven't like completely confirmed that so let me put those aside and then um, the other specials that I have going on right now that are kind of time sensitive are uh, next Tuesday or Wednesday is the RSVP deadline for the Stampin' Up! Bingo event. It's completely online. I'm not doing a live one this time. So if you're interested in playing some Stampin' Up! Bingo, there's no cash prizes. There is a fee to participate, but there's no cash prizes. The prizes are actually Stampin' Up! products. So 
Um, typically during bingo, we will play three games of bingo. We will stop to do some make and takes and then we'll play three more games of bingo. And then you have the option to purchase additional cards and those cards, uh, the fee from those cards go directly to a, the jackpot in the end. So someone will be winning a gift certificate to redeem with me through for some Stampin' Up! products for their bingo. So it is a lot of fun. Um, and just to make sure that more people can participate and that we're all being able to say safely social distance, um, I'm doing it on Zoom. So you have to make sure that you have Zoom in order to play bingo with us. So that's bingo. And I do still have my product share event. And um, if you're not familiar with the product share, I'm doing it for the holiday catalog and you're able to get a sampling of all of the new designer series paper, a sampling of all of the new ribbons, and a sampling of all of the new accessories or embellishments that are in the holiday catalog. So if you, uh, you will definitely, I have a breakdown, I'm not going to share it with you right now, but there is a really big breakdown. Now, when I point the camera down, you're going to see my website and then you're going to see my blog. And my blog literally has all the details to everything I'm talking about right now. Between the bingo event, there's a page on the bingo event that has the flyer. There's also um, a product share page that shows you how you can participate in one, two, or all three of the product shares. So the deadline coming up on that is August 3rd. So um, we still have a little bit more time on that, but if you want to participate and get a sampling, uh, rather than having to purchase uh, everything in order to get the full sampling. Trust me, you are going to end up saving. I had it somewhere on here. I know I can give you an example of the I want it all share because if you just want paper, that's a share. If you just want ribbon, that's a share. If you want accessories, that's a share. But if you're like me and you want it all, you just you just can't leave all you just want it all but if you spent if you decided to get all of it and um, I also did a couple of weeks back I did a product share event video so uh, go back on my videos and you'll see the holiday product share and you'll see exactly everything that you're gonna get so you can go back and watch that video but um, the cost is different for each share and if you decide that um, you want it all the cost is $116 and that actually includes shipping me getting you that um, delivered to you on your front doorstep which and they give you an example of how much you would save is if you had to purchase full packages for everything that is going to be included in the share you would actually spend over $430 so Keep that in mind. Would you rather spend four hundred and thirty dollars, or would you rather spend one hundred and sixteen bucks? And that includes shipping, and you get a sampling of everything that's new in the catalog, in the holiday catalog, as far as um, papers, ribbons, and accessories. So, um, go visit my blog. There's a whole page designed about that. Uh, we are still a couple of weeks away from. Uh, the paper pumpkin deadline for this next month so if you want to be able to grab a copy of next month's paper pumpkin kit it is um, celebrating life's champions so uh, the verbiage on here says make and send handmade cards of appreciation to the everyday heroes in your life with the August 2020 paper pumpkin kit so it includes enough supplies to create nine cards and envelopes. Uh, the stamp set features distinctive stamps and there's some masculinity to the kit as well. So um, I know there's a lot of first line uh, workers that are out there that would love to be able to get all the appreciation that they possibly can in order to, um, because they're serving us. So. Uh, this would be the perfect gift that the paper pumpkin gift for one time is other subscription cost is one time it's $22 and then we also have 
um, three month, six month, and then 12 month subscriptions. So paper pumpkin is a whole nother animal. So um, on my blog, there's also a page about uh, paper pumpkin. So if you want to know more about that and how to sign up, just go to my blog and there are so many details on there of all of the events, um, classes, uh, other things that you can do that I can't quite put on the other, our regular Stampin' Up! website. So we have more control over what we can put on there. And then the last one that I want to show you um, is I am hosting a weekend retreat. Uh, Columbus Day weekend in our beautiful Texas Hill Country and um, there is a live event and then there's also a to-go event so if you're not able to go uh, you can also participate in the um, if you're not able to go you're able to participate in the live event in the to-go option and that includes everything that normally the people that are in the live retreat get as far as the goodie bag, the make and takes, um, the pillow gifts, and then everything is shipped to your door. The cat make a noise. Um, so once again, there's a whole page on my blog that has all the details on that. So we'll do that. And then on my, um, on my page right now, I'm actually doing 10 day countdown to when the holiday catalog premiere so we are on day nine and I don't know if you've seen the day 10 but day 10 was featuring the Dove a Hope bundle and the card that is on there is actually the same card that um, is one of the four cards that I'm going to be offering in my Christmas card classes that start near the end of September so if you're interested in making your Christmas cards um, you can also look at that event. Uh, I want to say it's the 19th of September is the first date or the September 26th. It's one of the last few Saturdays in uh, September, but it has all the details on there and shows you how to RSVP and select what card you want. So I've only previewed two cards, but I do have two more coming up in the countdown later on. So you've got some time to figure out uh, what card you would like to make and to be able to see an actual color picture so um, the Dove of Hope bundle it, it's it's nice and simple and I hope you enjoy the card that I put out there and then today is day nine and we also um, the winner from day 10 is listed on today's and then she also received uh, we're doing day. I'm doing daily prizes. So she also is receiving a sampling, a four by six, four inches by six inch sampling of all of the papers that are in the Christmas gleaming um, variety bundle designer series paper, which is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It was a, it was a paper pack from last year's holiday catalog that they decided to continue, and I'm so glad because it's so gorgeous. And you just ha almost have to see it for yourself. So, but there is a sample card today listed in the day nine countdown that has a picture of a second Christmas card that I'm offering in my classes. So, if you um, want to go back and look at that, hey Jessica, glad you could join me. I'm gonna do the wave thing, and I don't know if it'll work, but sometimes when I hit wave it waves and then sometimes it doesn't so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong but um, but today uh, today's card is another sample so I do have two more down the road um, so I hope you're enjoying the countdown and then make sure you like and comment and share uh, my video if you share you just have to type that you shared the video you know with your friends or family or whoever because it doesn't really tell me everyone that shares it shows maybe a couple of people but after that it it doesn't do that and I want to make sure you get credit so when you like and you comment and share my videos every single week you actually are get entered into a drawing for the cards that um, that we do the cards are project and this card 
uh, what do you say, first time, always wanted to see, but always at work? Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad you could join me. I think you're going to like the cards today. I really do. Um, and there's a reason why I said game on. So, um, I'm trying to keep it a little, um, I'm trying to keep it today below. Hi, Stella. Glad you could join us. I'm trying to keep the cards, um, the cards today simple it's two cards and actually a project is what it is so um but before i get started and i point the camera down thank you jessica for sharing uh, i want to do the drawings for last week i've got one two i've got three drawings that i need to do uh right now before i get started and if you um if you liked my video commented and shared my video from last week you'll remember we did these three cards um I'm trying to grab one at a time here we go uh we did this one we did oh that's the envelope and then we did um this one that had the dies and then we did that one and remember that one had the belly band to help cloak keep that you could take it off when you take it off and take it off camera here but when you slide the belly band off the card actually opens that way for you to be able to put your sentiment on the inside. So we're going to draw for that person. And then I also have coordinating envelopes that are going to go in there. But here's everybody's name. I went back and looked at everybody that um, liked, comment, shared. Thank you, Stella. And then we're going to go ahead and do a drawing. I think I think for this one, I probably should have got a bigger cup. But normally, all of the people fit in one cup. So I'm just going to do this number. And I'm trying to pull just one. And we'll see who, who wins the cards. Oh, look. I don't know if you can see that. I think it went through. Look, Stella. You won. <laughs> and you know what? It was uh, your share that helped uh, you win. So you you won the card so i already have your address because i know you've won before so let me set those aside with your name and then i'll get those out to you so let me get those off where i can stick them right there so that was that drawing and then um the other drawing is the facebook live drawing that i did on the holiday shares um, if you remember, um, I guess it was last week. I don't know. My head hurts right now and I'm like really struggling to try to stay on track, but I have my, uh, ribbon here and, uh, oh, this was the ribbon that I ordered two of and I should have ordered the 10. So I was giving that away for anybody that watched and liked and commented for my holiday product share video so there's the names in there and so good luck there wasn't very many but that's okay that's okay even if it was one person i would still do a drawing so let's see Let me get that one whoever this is oh look i don't know if you can see that from there I turned it backwards hoping that you could read it but it says Sandra D which um, is my mother-in-law so <laughs> she's got some ribbon coming her way um, all the trimmings ribbon combo pack it is a pack from the uh, new holiday catalog so um, congratulations she just won. she just won the sunflower cards from like a week ago uh, or two weeks ago whenever I did the sunflower card she just won that drawing so she just got her cards in the mail but um, now she's got some ribbons that she can use for um, some gift wrapping and some bows and and whatnot so let me set that over there and let me make sure I don't have anything else to give away I like giving things away so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get going Vino's right behind me, so hopefully he will stay over there and not be in my way. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put him away. So uh, once I stand up, I need to fix my little um, 
phone cord right here. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up and get started. And I hope you like the cards today. And I'm going to show you the stamp set we're using when I point it down. That way you can actually see it because I know if I hold it up, it's probably going to be backwards. So um, let's get started. All right, let me let me get this down to where it will switch right when I stand up. There we go. And then let me get my, let me get that out of the way. Hopefully that'll stay out of the way. All right. So there is, these are the three cards that we're going to be making today. And when I say we're going to get our game on, I said we're going to get our game on because that's the stamp set we're going to be using. It's a clink stamp set that is in um, our annual catalog. And I want to say, oh, I should have looked this up before I got on here, but let me see. I have a sheet that tells me it's $19. And if you have a, if you have a catalog, it shows it's on page 28. There we go. It's on 28 page, 28, page 28, good grief, of your annual catalog. And there's some cute cards that, um, well, at least that one, that they made using some sequins. So if you like to play um, games, and I say games, but really it's, you know, cards, uh, you like to play dice, checkers. Um, that's kind of like a little, um, oh, what I, I don't even know the word I'm trying to say. I'm, I know what I'm trying to say in my, in my mind, but I can't think of the word and it won't come out. So, um, so how you get a catalog, um, thank you for asking because other people might want to know how do you get a catalog. Uh, you can actually contact me. Just let me know you want a catalog. <laughs> if you ever place an order from me on my website, and you're not already on my mailing list, you automatically get one. I send one or include one with whatever your do uh, with if whatever your order is. Um, that comes directly from me, so I can send you a um, an annual catalog, and I'll go ahead and send you a holiday catalog as well. So all you have to do, Jessica, is just PM me your mailing address, and then I'll get those out in the mail to you tomorrow. But yeah, that's one of the sets, and I will tell you, um, and I don't have it right here, but let me go grab it real quick. There's actually another one in the catalog that's kind of masculine. This can be feminine or masculine, but um, there's another one that's in the uh, catalog, and I want to show that to you real quick. So I'm going to come right back. So if you like your drinks, there's also one that's called Whiskey Business. Cute. Um, this one does not have, these don't have dies. Neither one of these stamp sets have coordinating dies. So you're going to see me use some dies from some other um, die sets that we have. But I have seen some really gorgeous pictures of people uh, using our blends to color in um, for these images right here and there's some pretty creative people out there so but today we're going to use game on so let me set that aside and then i'm going to show you um we'll get started on this one i want to save this one uh for last because there's something inside of here that i want to show you and this just shows you that um we not only make handmade cards but we also do um gift packaging as well and this is one of our pizza boxes so i'm going to save that one for last to show you so i'm going to set that aside put that aside and get all these drawing things out of the way and then we're actually going to make this card right here so let me get let me get my supplies and for this card we are using Make sure I got everything out. 
I know last week I had to cut a piece of paper and then up finding that that piece of paper I was looking for was still in the bin. Um, but for this one, we're going to be using uh, basic black. This is Whisper White. And this is uh, Smoky Slate. And on this one, this one I went ahead and die cut just to save a little bit of time on this one. I went ahead and die cut. I don't know if you can see uh, that stitched image around the edge. So uh, I went ahead and did that just to save some time. So we're going to put that one together. And these dies, oops, it's kind of stuck. These dies actually come from the stitched, the rectangle stitched framelits. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them in there depending on what you're um, what you're wanting to use it for. But I'm actually going to show you um, these dies and then I'm going to be using uh, the Stitch So Sweetly dies on a different card. So I'm going to put that away. And then uh, this is our ribbon. We also have this in a uh, gold trim as well. So I just thought the the silver and this uh, smoky slate just kind of help complement each other. So, and I've gone ahead and, and did our base in half, and I'll see if I can remember. Um, this is just a standard card base, so it's basically an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that's been cut in half, and then it is scored down the middle at, uh, uh, well, it's just in half. <laughs> it's like, uh, whatever half is I can't think right now so but what I'm gonna do is I have two sheets of this Sahara sand that I've cut exactly one of these sheets actually goes inside so let me get that inside and our bases are normally um, four four inches by five and a quarter inches so let's just get that going on the inside Try to move it up so y'all can see. I'm just kind of hovering it above just so that I get it even all the way around. And then now we're going to actually do some stamping. So this other piece of um, Smoky Slate, I've used um, on almost all of these, I'm using Memento ink except for one sentiment. And uh, just because we don't have a normal black ink, but we have this memento ink. And in order to get this little design all the way around the edge, I took that particular image, which these are our cling stamps and these are our acrylic blocks. I am literally just going to go all the way around the edge. No rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna stamp. And the only reason I'm stamping around the edge is because that is really the only part that you're going to be seeing. And just randomly stamp. And then fill that in right there. And then these little edges right here, all I did was I took part of one and just kind of helped fill it in. Because I didn't want it to be... I didn't want it to be empty in those corners, so I think that's good. And I'm going to leave that out. By the way, that's the host code. There's my blog spot. And then there's my Stampin' Up! website. So, but my blog spot has a lot of information on it. So, just want to make sure that you see. So, let me set that off. And then this right here. These are just two of the re rectangles. Sti stitched rectangles. And that one is obviously that one. And then that one is the smaller one. So just trying to mat it is all. And then now um, I'm going to use this one, which says, um, it's your day. Roll with it. I'm going to ink that up with some memento ink. And Beano is making sure I got plenty of ink on that. And then all we're going to do is I'm looking to try to center this over the center and then give it just a little pressure I couldn't find my extra I know I have more than one of these because it would have fit on something a little smaller but I just used that one because that was the widest one that extra one that I had so we've got that 
And then you have your little um, dice, but I think plural it's what die. I don't play a whole lot of games, so if I say something wrong, feel free to correct me. And then all I'm doing is pretending like basically the ties are rolling. Oh, that Georgie making some noise back there. See? Kind of like the, the rolling. And I'm actually done with my memento ink. So now that we're done with all of the stamping, we're actually going to put this card together, the rest of the card. So I'm going to bring this base back. I'm going to get some adhesive on the back. This one's going to go down first, but then uh, before I put the next layer down, I have to, hold on, i got to concentrate here, make sure I get that straight. I'm going to put these two together right here, but before I do that, um, I have to put the ribbon on the other side and you'll see what I'm talking about so let's get that one down and I will tell you with these uh, stitch dies as well as any other dies that have um, some kind of a oh, design around the edge you'll see there's a negative part to that and then there's a positive part you always want to make sure you're putting your ink on the on the right side. And then I want to put some ribbon along the edge of that. So all I'm doing is oops, get that moving again. Putting some adhesive on the side just like that. And then I'm taking my metallic edged ribbon and I just want to kind of get a good estimate of what I need to overlap it and then just cut that and then center it between there and that's why we put adhesive on the back just to kind of help hold that down and then you can pull it a little tighter get it straight and then wrap it back back around the other side of your card and make sure it hits that adhesive. So that is that. And then now you're gonna put adhesive, which is our seal, all around the back. This is, this is simple stamping with just a small twist. And then we're gonna center that on the front of the card. And then for our ribbon, um, all I did was I cut a piece of ribbon. I'm going to end up trimming this. I'm going to pull, pull that through there. I'm not going to do a bow because I want it to be uh, horizontal. And I'm going to pull it tight. Oh, that was probably an extra long piece of ribbon, but that's okay. I'm going to pull it tight. And then we have these basic rhinestone jewels. I want to put a big one in the middle of that just to kind of help give it a little extra bling and take my take take your pick tool and I'm gonna pick one of those off because if you've ever watched my videos before y'all know I like to put something always in the middle of a bow just to help put something there okay and then you can center it and then after you get it centered you can always Let's do this a little more tight. Just trim your bow so it's not completely off your page. And there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that is actually our first card. It's your day. Roll with it. And it looks like I got something on there which. Y'all know me. I'm notorious. I don't see anything on my hands. I'm notorious for getting ink on 
something at some point. So what I'm going to do is um, I will end up whoever is the winner of uh, the cards for today in the project. I'm actually going to give you the better one here. The one that doesn't have the smudge on it because I like to keep a lot. Even if it has a little smudge or something on it, these are good samples even for me to be able to replicate um, or put on my sample board here in my craft studio. So yay, it's your day. It's a perfect little birthday card for somebody that, um, you know, likes to play dice or likes to play uh, these kind of games. So that's card number one. So let me set that aside. And then this is the next one we're going to do, which we're dealing with three colors here. We are dealing with, um, we're dealing with a whisper white base, some basic black cardstock, and there's real red. And I think this is uh, my sample that I need. And then we're also, I don't know if you can see that from here. Let me pull it up a little more. Oh, you guys, my head is really starting to pound. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, this piece of basic black is um, embossed using the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So we're going to do that. And then the dies. Oh, sorry, that's not Dainty Diamonds. I'm not sure how that one got in there. Um, that one is. What did I use? I actually used, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. What did I use? Oh, I'm sorry, I actually used this one. The Dainty Diamonds was um, for a Christmas card. <laughs> I don't know how that one got in there, but I was like, okay. Um, but this one is the, um, I think it's the Argyle one. I think that's the name of it. Like I said, I can't think right now. So that is that. And that's it that's in there. And then the die that I'm using is from the um, the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I'm going to use this one in order to make uh, this white be like a scallop. So, and that's where we're going to be needing um, the big shot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the big shot first and then do the stamping. And because we don't have dies, for this, I went ahead and stamped this and then just manually cut it out. So, hi, Jennifer. Oh, look, my little wave thing worked this time. So, let's go ahead and bring the big shot out. And for those of you uh, that don't know what a big shot is, it's, it's what we have currently in order to do all our embossing and uh, die cutting. But we have a new product coming to the general public in September, but as demonstrators here in a few days, we will be able to order the, uh, the new machine, the larger of the new machines. So that's pretty exciting. So if you ever want an opportunity to be able to get in on, uh, try to line this up, um, this one has a line on it to help line things up so let me get that lined up if you're a demonstrator you can pre-order things early which is a nice perk oops wrong one um what am i doing hold on you guys my sandwiches sometimes no i think that was the right one I just wasn't pushing hard enough. There we go. We call them sandwiches, so when we have our die cutting machines, depending on um, what you're doing, you have to learn how to put your sandwich together. So there you go. That is the image that's on the back of that card. So there's our, there's our embossing, and then now we're going to die cut this white piece and I got to change that out to the magnetic platform and mine is so old and used 
there we go that um, that's why it looks like that so so this is gonna actually die cut a little scallop edge and put a little stitch on it as well so there we oops there we go for that so I've got those two pieces and that's all we're gonna be doing on this card so let me put that away and I did not, um, where's my black? Here we go. I did not uh, pre-stamp the, um, I'm looking for my piece of scrap, my white piece of scrap. I don't think it's that one. Well, maybe it is, okay. Um, I did not pre stamp and die cut this so bear with me there you go and that's all I need for that black ink for now so what I have to do in order to you could certainly stamp it directly on the paper if you wanted to there's plenty of room to stamp it there but I wanted to have a little bit of um, dimension so bear with me as I cut this out super, super quick. Like I said, there's not a die cut for this stamp, but these are generally pretty easy to, this kind of helps me here. I know you're like, once I get the bulk of it gone, then I go back and kind of go a little close and try to leave a little bit around the edge. And then what I'll do at the very, very end is go trim off and kind of corner those edges. Yeah, my head is really starting to pound now, you guys. So if I do not appear to be my normal cheery self, it is because my head hurts. My medication has not kicked in. I'm gonna go back and clean that up just a little bit. Try to get these little edges so they're not so sharp. Okay. And there we go. That was kind of easy. So now we're actually going to assemble our card. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment that says, uh, Lucky me, because I have you. And we're going to be using real red. And then you, it took me a couple of times last night, but um, I had to I had to uh, make sure this was on here correctly so that I would line it up and it should be straight. So hold your breath and let's hope this goes on straight <laughs> the first time. Yay! Okay, it worked. And that's all the stamping that's going to be done on this particular piece right here. And then we have that. So let's go ahead and assemble our card. We're gonna take our Whisper White Base and that black piece of um, basic black that we just did the uh, embossing on. Gonna get some adhesive on the back of that, which is um, our new stamp and seal. And make sure how that opens oh I'm gonna do it this way the, I had extra card bases cut and I just grabbed this one so it's this particular card would open sideways so let's get that on there build our little get that centered and then this is just a piece of real red didn't do anything with this one because the back was already embossed so I kind of left that one alone get that in the middle and then um, this actually is on dimensionals so I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back and all the dimensionals do is help raise 
things off of your card just to give it some dimension so that everything's not all flat. And sometimes it only takes one layer to really make a, a difference with your card. So then we'll get that there in the middle. And then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of that one. And I'm going to use the small ones for this one because I'm going to put three little ones on there. Well, I'm not looking at the comments right now, so if anybody has joined me in the last maybe 10 minutes, thank you for joining me. And then we'll just put that right there. And then because it's got a this is a white base, we don't need to put anything on the inside. Um, so there is card number two. That's the sample that I did, and then this is the one that we just completed. So there we go. Lucky me, because I have you. I think there's probably someone in our life that we could give that card to that maybe plays cards or something. It's, it's kind of appropriate. So, and I guess that means something. Like I said, guys, I don't play, I don't play cards, so that looks like a good hand to me. <laughs> so there's card number two. And then the last thing we're doing I actually saw something um, online and I was like, oh, that's really cute. I'm going to do that. But of course, I, I did it and I decided to put a little twist on it for myself. But these are actually, um, I know I've done something before with our pizza boxes. Make sure I don't have anything left in my bin there. But these are actually our pizza boxes that we have, and they're food grade, so the inside has got this, um, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, wax. It's like a waxy substance on the inside to help keep from keeping the food bleed through. But this is our pizza box, and this particular one has, um, has a belly band to help hold it closed. Sorry, you guys, my head is like really pounding right now, so I'm going to really wrap this up as soon as I can. Um, but all it is is we're using the stamps to decorate all the way around the edge. And then the belly band, and I actually did read, uh, write down the measurements for you uh, this time. But I also stamped another set of those cards, cut them out, and put some of our rhinestone jewels on it. And the reason why I had to add a belly band to it, and I thought, is because what I have in here, and think about this, is a perfect, um, some gift packaging. Inside is a card, is a pack of some cards, and then uh, five dice fill that in. And I think this was one package I found at Walgreens for a couple of bucks. So I thought that was the perfect little gift to give someone that likes to play their cards um, these are just standard cards, but it, it's the perfect size, but once I closed it, I noticed that, um, it still wanted to kind of, you know, stick out like that, which is why I decided to go ahead and do a, um, a belly band to put around it. That wasn't on what I saw, that was just me adding that on there, and that just kind of helps hold it close. Cute! So let's get started. Um, I may have to take this, well, no, I'll just leave it like that because I know what I need to stamp. So we are actually going to, um, let me take some of these off so I don't forget. Okay. We're actually going to be stamping, and I have to, I have to fold this a little bit so I know for certain where I'm stamping. get these folded. It helps. It helps me, at least. It is cute, huh? Try to get those all so it makes it easier for me to... Okay, so then that tells me now I know where I need to uh, be stamping. 
So we're going to be stamping with, um, of course, our memento ink. We're going to be using the little uh, little set of dies or die, and uh, get it going in the right direction. Here we go. So then we're just going to be stamping all the way around the edge. And then you want to make sure your um, hopefully I'm not off the camera there. You can certainly, you know, move them around kind of thing. I'm gonna go get a um, a baby wipe because I want to make sure I don't get any ink. On any other parts to this so let me let me wipe my hands real quick just to make sure I got any residue off from the other card go and then we're gonna do the same thing for uh, let me make sure I had to close this a couple of times earlier just to make sure I got all the areas okay so I need this area back here so on this area back here um, I'm telling you I'm bound to get ink on some things to switch it a little bit <clears throat> get that out of the way. I think that's why I keep getting ink because I keep touching that side. I need to clean that memento ink thing. That's why there's ink on the side. And then I want to be able to stamp some things off, but I don't want it to be stamped on this side right here. So what I did is I took a piece of, just a piece of scratch, and I covered this up just so I could stamp, let's do like that, stamp it like that so that it wouldn't get on the side, because I didn't want it on the side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp. doesn't really matter where but I don't I want things to okay. do that and then I also have one on where's my where did my scrap go I just had it oh here it is over here on this side because I have these um, these chess pieces and I don't want to get it on there either. I need another piece of scrap. Oh. It's going to a piece of paper to cover that up right there. I pull those off just so that it shows something that's there but and then there's also this little um, I don't have the little um, uh, keep getting ink on that make sure I'm stamping this the right way just want to randomly put some of these spades kind of here and there some of these you, you won't probably see. I know it's a little different than my sample. I'm trying to figure out what's, what's missing. Nothing's missing. Okay, nothing's missing. It's just my imagination. Okay, so now that's all the stamping on the actual um, pizza box that we're gonna be doing. And then I also have to stamp another one of these. So 
I'm going to stamp one of those. And then I'm also going to go ahead and stamp um, Hope Your Day is All Fun and Games. And I'm going to actually stamp that down here. I'll make sure that's going to fit on there. Yeah, okay. I was trying to cut this piece of sample out um, as much as I could. So let me do this. Let me let me separate those two pieces. And that's actually all of the stamping that I'm going to do. So let me get rid of all of these and make sure I don't have ink on my hands. And then I'm gonna bring the Big Shot back so that I can cut that out and then that out with these two dies from the Stampin'. I'm sorry, from the uh, stitched rectangles. Magnetic platform. And I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. So let's get that one on there, and I'll use the rest of this scrap piece that I had. Try to get it where it won't move. It wants to move on me. Go, And then we'll put that one there. I don't even know what y'all can see at this point. I don't know if I have it far enough where you can see. Make sure that one doesn't move. Get our top plate on, then run it through. And then take the plate off. Bring that back so you can see that. But that one cut out that one. And then now I have a, a black mat for that. And that's it on there. So let's put Big Shot away. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and cut this card out super, super quick. It would have been so much easier to have a die, but I could see probably why there wasn't. Just because, or maybe at least a couple. One for the, the set of die and at least the cards. I could see how it could be cumbersome to cut out those chess pieces. But as you can see, I'm just leaving a little bit of white around the edge. You don't want to do it directly on the line because the line is actually part of the image. I'm trying to trim that. I think after this video, I'm just going to update it with the details and then later go add this to my blog and then update my YouTube channel because y'all, I'm serious. I don't know where it came out of, but I woke up with the most horrible headache today. Okay, so let's put our box together. We're just going to fold everything. Oh, I should have pre I wish should have gone ahead and pre-scored the that belly band, but I can do it real quick. Get that closed. Before I get that closed, I'm, well, I'm just going to leave it there. Get that in there. So there's our box, kind of decorated. And then let me get my silicone, little silicone sheet there since I got some, I'm going to be using this adhesive, oops, on the edge. Make sure it doesn't get on anything else. We're going to mat that in between. Try to get it straightened too. There we go. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that one. And we have, we have black dimensionals that help so you don't see all the white underneath. But I don't guess on this one it would make a big difference. So, these are the measurements for the belly band. And my... Uh, 
I had to unbury my my paper trimmer here. But this is um, an 11 inch long piece of basic black and I'm gonna score it at two and a half, three and five eighths. And I'm gonna flip it and score it at two and three quarter and then three and three quarter. There you go. And then you can just fold it at the scores. Got some sticking sticky on me here. And then I want to close it up so I can get an idea of where I need to put some adhesive. just to help hold that belly band closed. And if you want, you can go ahead and wrap it around just to get it on there and know that, go. Okay. So there's that. I got adhesive on me, so. And then we're gonna put some um, dimensionals on the back of that one, I'm gonna put two of them on there just to speed this up. We'll get that on there. We put it in the middle, I guess. And then the same thing with these dimensionals. Just take the backing off of that and then put that in the middle. And then because I wanted to dress it up a little bit, I took some of the smaller rhinestone gems and I put them on the little hearts on there. Well, the bigger hearts. So I can get that flipped around. I'll just press them down just a little bit. I didn't put it on the queen because the queen doesn't have a big heart right there for me to. Let me go. Thank you, Veronica. Yeah, this is tough. But I didn't want to not. I didn't want to not do the live today. So there is. That was Georgie that just meowed. That's project number three, which is just a, um, it's a gift box. It's one of our pizza boxes, and inside has, it's enough space to put a full set of playing cards and then some die on it, and then just use your belly band to help keep it closed. So let me bring back the three cards. There was card number one, Georgie, and then card number two, and then our our little gift box. Cute, using the um, using our game on stamp set, and just a few colors. I tried to keep them kind of mono, monochrome, mono mono whatever you want to call it black and white with some gray in it and then throw some red in there for the lucky me so those are those are the three projects for today you guys and let me point this back down so i can sit down and oh my goodness you guys thank you for joining me today i'm sorry i have a headache so I'm gonna wrap this up really quick um, don't forget I'm here every sat Sunday evening at 3 p.m. and um, I will be back next next weekend I'm gonna go get some rest now because I'm actually starting to feel a little nauseated so thank you guys for your well wishes um, I don't even know what's going on with me right now but it's it's starting to it's starting to get bad so 
I hope to see you next weekend at 3 p.m. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And stay well. Practice safe social distancing. And I am out. I can't do any more. I'm sorry, you guys. But um, we will see y'all next week. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.